the Robert Spears Benjamin Award for reporting on Latin America, sponsored by JetBlue. The citation goes to Almudena Toral, Maye Primera, Oscar Martinez, and Carlos Martinez of Univision News Digital, and El Faro for From Migrants to Refugees, the New Plight of Central Americans. The winner, the winner Richard Marozzi of the Los Angeles Times for Mexico's housing debacle, a failed vision. Thank you. One hundred billion dollars. That was the cost of the largest housing program in the history of Latin America. The Mexican government and private developers, many backed by Wall Street investors, built seven million homes, enough to house a sixth of the population. One decade later, many of those developments are rapidly decaying and bereft of basic services, leaving millions of people in tiny homes without water or electricity. There's no accurate count how many there are. The government never investigated. I tracked down abandoned developments outside every major Mexican city. The SEC investigated just one developer, and they found alleged crimes that amount to the biggest fraud in Mexican history. So I appreciate this honor from the Overseas Press Club and for the opportunity it provides to elevate the issue of corruption and impunity raised in this series. My thanks go to a great LA Times team that backed me, including my supremely skilled, ever patient editor, Steve Clow, photographer, Brian Vanderbrug, and deputy managing editor, Scott Kraft, and my thanks also go out to the many homeowners in Mexico who were brave enough to speak out about the intimidation and bribery campaigns meant to block their efforts to fix broken developments. The country's most prominent homeowner leader, Humberto Perez, provided me a treasure trove of damning documents, but I haven't seen him in two years. He's been locked up in a prison cell with 70 other inmates on trumped up charges that appear meant to destroy him and his movement. Mexico has many problems, of course. They play out daily in horrific headlines. But the reason I pursued the housing crash story was to show a more subtle but just as insidious force undermining rule of law, white collar corruption. The corruption, abetted by top politicians, infests every corner of Mexican society and sadly even destroys the home ownership dreams of hardworking citizens. The good news, there are organizations mobilizing to confront widespread corruption. The bad news is that ordinary citizens who speak out still run the risk of ending up like Umbertus. I'd encourage all the media here to pursue these follow the money stories. Foreign media coverage provides more, brings a more severe, potentially consequential level of scrutiny that can force government action. If there's one thing everyone agrees on, Mexico is a country in need of profound change. Um, the normalization of corruption cannot be its future. Thanks.